Hey everyone, what's going on? We are about to, possibly, I'm hoping not, but possibly about to get hit pretty hard with a storm. So there's like tornado warnings and it is starting to come down. So I'm hoping these girls will go ahead and go in too. I don't have the luxury of owning a waterproof camera. Come on guys, it's starting to get going. Hope we don't tear this camera up. Go on, girls. Go on. Cheeky, go. Go, Cheeky. Now, you're missing the ladder. Do it, girl. Come on, let's go. Excellent. Hey, come on in. Welcome to my coop. I always wanted to say that. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just want to get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you better go live it up. Cash in the bag, stadium pack. Baby, I'm bad. Yeah. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back. I'll be swinging on to the <laughs> Oh boy. Now let's just hope and pray that this storm don't get too crazy. Like I said. Hey everyone, well right now I am on my way to get some gravel for the chicken coop. I'm hoping this does the trick, I'm hoping it'll just, just sink right through. That's my hopes. I'm going with number eights or elevens. I was gonna go with um, pea gravel or river rock. They say it's so small that it'll probably just sink right through the mud. That's kind of what I was thinking too. So, uh, anyway, I'll get back to you guys when I get back with the gravel. All right, guys. Well, I had to get a tank top on because it's warm. It's funny, just half an hour, hour ago, I left to go get to go get the gravel, and there's a little bit on the kind of chilly side. What's up, sissy? Pretty girl. You're pretty. You're pretty cool. So, um, oh yeah, I was gonna put my, I got my play shoes on right now, but I gotta get my play shoes on. And I'm gonna show you guys as well just how bad this coop is. It has yet to be this bad. So I've been, I've been throwing these shoes on. And they actually work out pretty well when it comes to all this mud. So first things first is get the babies inside the enclosure and out of the coop. If they haven't came out, I mean, who knows? All right, babies, you guys ready to come out for a little bit? Daddy's back's gonna hurt pretty bad after this one. You guys are sure getting big though. Come on, babies. Me two up, two more of you. I'm gonna have to go around to the other side and push them this way. So watch how muddy this is out here. It is horrid. Here it goes. I mean, I'm literally sinking. Horrible. It's bad. But yeah, look where I've been stepping. This is what they've been having to walk around in. So after today, I'm hoping that that will be over. This is going to be really hard to get out. 
Alright, I'm going to put you guys outside because I'm not sitting down inside the mud. Oh yeah, I'm just dragging mud like a figure. Let's see here. I need to pull this out anyway. Get this tractor out that way I can get this cage figured out. Seller at my um, at that farmer's market 
that I've been going to. Well, I've been once so far. Last weekend it stormed. That's when we got our that flood. And I got some pioneers to go with these Bluetooth planter speakers. I need to come up with a more swift, smoother name for it, slick name, neat name for it. Try the, the roller hardware. I'm hoping they're going to be uh, strong enough. I, I'm thinking that it should be fine. I got two sets. I got two doors. But yeah, this I think this seems pretty beefy. So yeah, this just ro rides along the rail. See, I think I'm just going to get a piece of metal flat bar. I, I weld and stuff, so I can just weld one ten foot long because each door is about two and a half foot. So I would need five foot per door. That way, when they open up, you know, there's plenty of room with five foot. And it was, I think these will work. I think these will work nice. I hope. Bar, oh, this is my barn door lock. This looks kind of. I don't know. This don't look very beefy. I don't know. I'm not going to judge it yet, so I can get started on the barn door if I'm going to actually like, get find time. Because you know, there's a lot of stuff out here, guys. Like I mean, since day one, seriously, over three years now, I've been battling water. I mean, it has really crossed my mind about selling a few times. My back just—I mean, it's, my back's just not made for this no more. I mean, I know I've said that to you guys before, but. Alright, so this right here is webbing. They call it webbing. It's for um, lawn chairs, patio furniture. So that sofa I've got out there is very uncomfortable. I mean, like, very uncomfortable. Basically, you just staple it on one end, leaving a little bit of leftover, fold it over, staple it again, and stretch it pretty tight to the other side, staple it, fold it over, staple it. And you do that all the way down, and you can even cross. You can even cross hatch them, like you see the lawn chairs are. How lawn chairs are. Imagine it'd be a lot more comfortable than feeling like you're sitting on two by fours. Like I bought a setup. The cushions are probably that thick, maybe two or three inches, maybe. And it's feel like you're feel like you're sitting on the ground. It's very uncomfortable. Hurts. But if you buy those thicker cushions, I mean, you're talking about sixty to eighty bucks just for one cushion. Like no. So it's like I'll try this and put the cushions on top of this that I've got. <laughs> My summer's pretty much already taken, but whatever, it's all right. That's what life's all about. So I'm going to do, obviously, my must-dos first, which is like the barn door. Like right now, as you see, I'm doing the, the gravel. Anything with is obviously going to be a priority over material things. It is 11.30, so I got, a good, I got a good jump on the day. So basically, all right, so I bought a yard of number eights. So they said number eights. And I know now because a full yard, I still have quite a bit. I mean, I, I might have enough to do half the, the shed. I mean, there's still quite a bit in there. September, September of 08 is when I got the place. And it's just been a roller coaster ride from there. It's an obsession, but it's also a, a pain in the butt. The house is looking wonderful, though. I mean, it's, there's still a lot of things, plenty of things I still got to get done and do. I'm not going to worry about recording me throwing rock down in the shed. Um, but I will show you guys the after because it's muddy in there, too. And the first part I'm doing is the right side where I walk through to the coop every time. I, mean, I, I ain't going to lie. I was scared as shit. I mean, I mean that water was up. About an inch, inch and a half from coming in, trying to do everything I can to battle. This is the worst part about this place is the water. I mean, it's it's bad. But anyway, guys, I'll see if I can't get this knocked out at least. I will see you guys here in a few. Well, just a minute for you guys. Well, guys, all right. A couple hours later, my back's cussing me. So, here we are. It about got the whole thing. I just I couldn't get underneath here, and I didn't have enough to get over here. But I will have to do it again. But this is just a yard's worth of gravel. But it's so soggy through here that I'm definitely gonna have to get more. Can you guys tell by the way I'm walking? I mean, it's soggy. 
but I'll just have to keep adding to it. This will at least keep me from having to get muddy as hell when all this water comes in, I hope. I really hope it helps. Now as for the chicken coop, here we go. Hey babies. I think this turned out really well. I think they like it. They're walking on dry ground now. How you doing baby? Doing alright? I cannot believe they have not left. I still cannot believe it. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You doing alright? Just don't pick my eyes. So, yes, yeah, so they got their water in here. and I had that open there for a minute, but I just, with it not being attached to the side like that, and it's dry in here now, they're just going to have to do it. They jump up on that board right here. So all they got to do is jump up there and then jump up there and they're out. Some couple of you. I'm going to pick up my shoes. But I like how this turned out in here. It almost got rid of the edge there. But there again, it's going to keep sinking. It's going to keep sinking until it gets to a point where it's finally going to stop. Are you my favorite? Are you my favorite? Come here. Are you my favorite? Hmm? You guys are so pretty. Now hopefully some of that mud and stuff will get off you guys now that you guys are dry. Willie, you are, ow, ow, what are you guys pecking at me for? But Willie likes the spotlight. Well, another thing I've noticed is, is these guys will jump up in these nest boxes and they will they will hide eggs. So I've got to go through and like look pretty decently because they will hide them. But yeah, they'll they'll hide these eggs. I'm not sure why they do it. But yeah, they're wanting me to open that back up. But right now, this is working as a perfect brooder. I wouldn't have said that. I wouldn't have said that earlier today. I mean, it's already kind of bare here. This this one up here was kind of dry anyway, because the ground's up a little bit right here. But you can see where the moisture's coming through, where the gravel's a little bit more wetter. And this section right here was the worst. I mean, all of it was horrible. Don't get me wrong, but but right now I am happy. Guys, be careful! I don't want to step on you. But I'm happy with it. I can actually walk through here at the moment. I, mean, I can feel myself still sinking. Like I said, this is going to finally, it's going to pack in eventually. Who's pecking on my shoestrings? Tell you what, you guys are definitely a very social breed. Very social breed. I'm hoping not so social breed. Get like mean. Especially having, I'm pretty sure, more, definitely more than one rooster. I'm thinking. I think it turned out great. And I figured out, because I was going to go with mulch, but I already knew that that would not have lasted long at all. I mean, it would have soaked up all the water, but it would have went right into the earth, the ground, a lot faster than this. They're all at that door look. I feel bad. Will you stop pecking at my, my leg? It's kind of silly though for me to try to figure some kind of enclosure out for them out there when here they're free to go out and my luck i'll go and build something down there on the outside and they'll be going out the next day why well, does move and you want to peck at me what's your deal what's your deal huh what's your deal well your belly's warm do i need to get a fan for in here Want to get a fan? So I think you're a rooster. What do you guys think? So once more, looks so much nicer. And you guys are probably thinking, well, how are you going to clean this out? To be honest with you, at this point, I'll have to go scoop it. I mean, just scoop it little by little if I have to. I mean, I'll do what I got to do. 
it's going to beat mud any day because there's a lot of diseases and stuff that these guys can get from, I mean, that we can get if we were to live in mud. It could get really bad. <laughs> I had to hurry. They chased. Oh, shit. You actually made it. You actually made it out. You were fast. No, 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 no. You need to go back in here. You need to go back in there. Man, I didn't realize one got out. I go to look down next to her and... Huh. And there one was. I'm not sure if I told you guys yet or not, but I even added extra steps, rungs, whatever you want to call it, to the ladder. Ruger, uh-uh. I already know what you're up to. You want to go in and cool off for a little bit? Riley, you want to go in and cool off for a little bit? I'm going to sign out on the pimping out the chick mahal on the remodeling, redoing, renovating. And I think that was a huge upgrade on the chick mahal slash the shed to lean to shed. My back again is screaming at me to, to lay flat. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. But I don't think I did too bad. I picked the gravel up around, I would say about 10. It's 240 now. And I'm shaky, even worse than usual. And just, I never really told anybody this, but you guys said about, some of you guys said about my shakiness of the, the camera. It's caused pain. Pain causes shakiness. Right now, like I'm holding my arm right now, trying to stabilize the camera. So it's not so shaky, but yeah, I'm doing the best I can. But here's the, the Bluetooth speaker, by the way. This one's Bluetooth. And then on the bottom, you've got the speaker and all switch for battery power. The sound just bounces off the off the ground here. Put your plant in, plant in there. And people be like, where's that music coming from? I don't know. It's coming from the planter. But... There's, I ain't like I invented this. I'm not saying I invented this, but off I almost just busted this egg. Sorry about it. But all right, guys, while well, I'm getting off here, love you guys. Peace. I'm out. You step. Come. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack.